Hello everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these really pretty little dragonfly charms. They are super easy to make and they make really pretty charms for necklaces or bracelets or anything like that. So let's begin! So I'm going to be using an assortment of different beads to create this charm. I have four teardrop shaped beads, four smaller seed beads that match the teardrop shaped ones, and then eight beads which are the same size as these ones and they are a different color that I'll be using to make the body part of the dragonfly. As well as a jump ring, some wire, and your pliers. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a length of wire that is at least a foot long. You could do a little longer if you want to. And then fold it in half. So after folding it in half, I'm going to take one of the body beads and I'm going to slide it on. So now I have this little bead in the center and I'm just going to take the wire and pinch it so it's closed like this. You can use your pliers to get really close to the bead if you want to, but I like to use my nail for this. And then after that, I am going to take both strands of wire together. So you can see I have both of the ends together like that, and I'm going to begin stri stringing on the rest of these beads. Except for one of them, which will be put on later for the head. So I'm just going to take one of them and put them to the side, and then string the rest on the wire. So now I have them all strung on like this. And you can see that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to take the wire and open it back up. So I'm going to make sure they're all tight there and then just open it up in two directions like this. So next is the part where it gets slightly more complicated, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And now we're going to be making the wings. So I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to just use this one on this side right here and I'm going to string on one of these beads. Make sure that the pointier side is the side facing the beads you already put on, so it should be like this. So I'm just going to string that on. Like that. So next thing you're going to do is take one of these little beads. They should match your um, larger beads. And I'm going to put that one on the wire as well. Sorry if you can't see, my fingers are in the way. And then I'm going to slide that down too. So it should be something like this. Then the next part after this is you're going to take the wire and you're going to bend it around. This is the same piece of wire. And I'm going to slide it back through this bead. Not the smaller one, only the larger one. And then slide it back through and pull it. So once I get about here, the easiest way to make it tight for me is to uh, just push this bead, the two beads together like this and then take my pliers and then hold them there like that and then take the wire and pull it tight. That's the easiest way I found to make it get as tight as you want it to be, but if not this is all you need. You can do it any way you prefer. And the end result should be something like this. So next I'm gonna do it again with the same piece of wire. So I'm just going to put it on, making sure the pointier end is facing um, inward. Slide that on, and then slide on one of these smaller beads all the way to the end take the wire and bend it back through and then put it in this bead here. Slide it all the way through and then pull tight. And there you go. So I'm going to repeat the process with the remaining beads I have, these two and those ones except I'm going to use the other wire. So I'm going to use this side and I should have two more of these on this wire after I'm done. So here it is after all the beads are strung on and now I only have one remaining bead 
which is one of these green ones that I use for the body and we'll put that on in a little bit for the head. Basically I think the key to this project is pulling the wire tight and then you won't have any big gaps or anything. So the next part is kind of closing up that little hole in the center. So I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to take one side and loop it around in between that wing all the way around and then back up. And then I'm going to take the other one, loop it around like that, and then back up. Now if you want to, you can loop it a different way. I like doing it this way and then kind of uh, down and around. Like that. And then that will close up the gap as well as keeping the wings together. So you can see now it's a lot stronger and it stays put. So next we're going to be putting the head on to this dragonfly and then it's just about done. So I'm just going to get the wires nice and stiff together by running my fingers along them. And then at the end I'm going to put both of the pieces of wire together. At this point mine are a little uneven so I'm just going to clip them. And now that I have both of them, I'm going to slide my bead on. Making sure to slide onto both. And then pull it all the way down to the bottom, keeping it nice and tight. Okay. And then to make sure it stays tight, I'm just separating the wire. And pulling it open. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. After this, we're going to just take our jump ring and we're going to put it on so that way this can be used as a charm. So I'm going to take one of the um, wire pieces. I have one of them sticking up and the other one just going to the side for now. So this one that's sticking up, I'm just going to take it at the end and thread my jump ring on. Just like it was a bead. Just like this. And you can see that the jump ring is on the wire like that. Next, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing better. Hopefully it won't get blurry. So I'm going to take it like this, and now I'm going to take my wire that's sticking up. I'm just going to fold it back down. And you're going to take it and slide it into um, this bead right here, the head bead. You're just going to slide it down and through until it pops out. So you can see I've got it completely threaded in there and now I'm just going to pull it tight. I like to use my pliers for this, just pull it nice and tight. So you've got a jump ring on there like that now. So what to finish up the dragonfly, we just need to secure the ends off. So I'm going to take the, one, the piece of wire that we pulled through the head, you can see right there. And I'm just going to wrap it around the body like this. Make sure it pulls tight. And then I'm going to wrap it once more like that. Oops, sorry. And then I'm going to just put it through. You can see there's a little hole there. So just kind of find a little hole in the wire wrapping and push it through. And then once it comes out the other side, you can pull tight. Make sure there's no little loops. And then once it's pulled tight and all the way through, you can cut off the excess. And that part is done. Now if there are any little sticking out parts, there shouldn't be yet because we um, I slid it through the wire so that way there won't be any. But you can always take your pliers and just kind of squeeze it. Oops, squeeze it down like that. And then that'll hide any edges. And you get little sharp bits. So next we're going to go with this wire. Now this one at the end is a little more tricky since I can't just bring it back through and slide it again. I will never be able to fit that many pieces of wire in this little bead. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to just wrap it around the jump ring. I 
I found the easiest way to do that is to put something in the jump ring and then that way you can hold it still while you wrap the wire a couple times. Just like this. So now we just need to take it and then cut off the excess leaving a tiny little tail. So you can see that little tail right there. And now I'm going to use it. I'm probably going to need to cut it even shorter than that. But I'm just going to kind of take my pliers and bend the tail inward so that way it doesn't unravel. You just kind of want to bend it in and if you can push it under this little wrap of wire right there. So I'm going to need to cut mine a little bit shorter and then just sort of play with it until it is hidden. And here it is. The sun came out so it's all nice and uh, sparkly. But um, here is the finished dragonfly. It is super easy and fun to make. If you're a little unsure about the wire, if you're afraid it's gonna come undone or something, you could always try adding maybe a drop of super glue or something like that. But other than that, you are finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.